Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today is a very, very special day. It is my mum's birthday. Now, as a lot of my subscribers will know, and anybody who knows me, my parents mean the world to me and I've been very, very gifted in this life. The Lord blessed me with absolutely an incredible parent table. My amazing, amazing mum, who I love with all my heart, my dad, who I love with all my heart, they're best friends to me, and my very dear nanny, who I absolutely love with all my heart. Honestly, Sometimes, and this sounds a little bit cheesy, I know, but whenever I'm in sort of, if, if I'm going, I've, unfortunately I've been going through a lot of problems this year in terms of health and I've not been blessed with great health throughout my adult life. My parents have always been there. If I've been struggling with what to do sort of career-wise, what path sort of, I've come up against something difficult and I, and I feel like I need to talk it out. You know, those moments when you can only just talk to mum and dad about it and you need to get things sorted. And they're there, they're supporting me along the way. They supported me in my career, my education. Every avenue of my life, there has been an issue or an achievement or an accomplishment, whether it be good, bad, whether it be frightening, terrifying, or overjoyed with happiness, it's been my mum and my dad. And as I say, I've been blessed in this life because I've got my dear nanny there as well, who I look at as a second mum. And honestly, when it's one of their birthdays, my dear nanny, I no longer have. She is in heaven, but she is with me always. But my mum's birthday today, and it's her mum, so I've always had, I grew up in their love, my nanny, my mum, and my father. Um, honestly, just, well, just absolutely wonderful. So I have just been so, so blessed. Today is my mum's birthday. It's been such a hectic day, it really has, but it's been lovely because, um, Honestly, I, I really always try to sort of completely go to town with gifts and things. And I try to spoil my parents absolutely rotten. And when my dear nanny was with me, um, I used to do exactly the same for her, spoil her rotten. Um, I've got all those memories which I hold dear in my heart. And as I say, that yes, she's no longer with me, but she was always here. And she gave me the most beautiful, incredible gift, my dear mum. And now my mum and my dad have got... Um, Honestly, I think they've been married 41 years now and they have got their relationship. They have got through everything, got through anything, and they're still just the most beautiful soul. And I love them to pieces. And it's just that, do you know, if it's one of their birthdays, I just do everything to try and make it special. So I decorated it all downstairs um, for when my mum came down this morning for our birthday. This year we chose pink and lilac with butterflies and uh, all uh, like rose gold and everything and uh, bought lovely banners and everything and um, she is truly the world's best mum, number one mum, so that was everywhere. Um, cards and things, it's been lovely. I treated my mum to lunch, we had it ordered in, which is lovely. I've done some work this morning because um, I work from home and it's just been lovely. I have, she is always, always so busy. We have a very hectic family, quite a big family, always very hectic, lots always going on. There's been lots of storms in our family this year. Every family goes through that, doesn't they? Ups and downs, but you stick together. And my mum is the glue which holds everything together. And, uh, it's just, it's been a wonderful day to celebrate her. I've I'm, I'm literally been trying to do this the last couple of hours, but it's just gone eight o'clock now. And I've just captured the time to capture this on my channel because my mum, who I hope one day is going to watch this, is absolutely incredible. I love the bones of her. I worship the ground she walks on and my dad and my nanny. And do you know what? My mum today, um, I wanted to really take her out for lunch in that. But do you know what? We've not long come back from Ibiza. We went for a wonderful holiday with my brother, my sister-in-law, my other brother, my niece and nephew. We had a wonderful time. My mum as well, which was absolutely magical. It was really, really lovely. We've done lots of lovely things, lots of lovely memories. We come back a couple of days, my mum's birthday. And uh, so I said to my mum, I wanted to take her out for lunch. I wanted to spoil her. No, she didn't want to do that. She just wanted a relaxing day. It's been quite a busy time. So we did just that. And I, as I say, I decorated everything downstairs. Um, and I said to my mum, well, okay, if I, and I am, I, I'm not being boastful, but I'm very good uh, at cooking. And uh, I got that from my mum my and my nan. Um, I think it's passed down for a generation thing. And, um, and my twin brother, who we're very, very close as well, he is an extraordinary, extraordinary chef, and that's his career. And he is, let's say, going places, and it's just incredible. It's art on a plate, what he does. So very, very blessed, and I love him to pieces. So I said to my mum, if we're not going out for lunch then, um, I'm going to treat you to lunch. We're going to have lunch. We ordered it in, and it was just lovely because it was just my dad, my mum, and me. So it was that really lovely, really cherished, treasured bond. And now I'm really sounding really cheesy, aren't I? But I love it to pieces. So that was really, really lovely. And then I started 
dinner after work. So I finished work for about 11 this morning and I was doing that till about four o'clock. And until that time, I said to my mum, look, and my mum knows my calibre of cooking, what I can do. And I love, I love classics, but I really love family meals. So my favourite cuisine is like Italian food, um, not Italian, sorry, Mediterranean. So that's your Italian dishes, your Greek dishes, uh, Spanish, love all of that. So very often you'll catch me pinching recipes from recipe books and one thing or another, having a look online, making adaptations and doing that for the family. And I love that. I love cooking food. I don't necessarily enjoy too much eating it, but I do absolutely love it. And nothing gives me more joy than the family to go around the table eating what I've cooked. So that was lovely. So I said to my mum, okay, if we're not going out, if you don't want to go out for a meal or anything, I'm going to do it. What do you want? And I'll do it. Anything you want, what do you want? My mum chooses a curry. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So I said, okay. So I know as a family, we quite like Chinese food. So I thought, from scratch, I do a Chinese curry, we do the jasmine rice, we go to town, we do absolutely everything. It took me about three hours to make it with chicken breast. It turned out beautiful. Here I am, my head's getting bigger, big-headed. I know everybody enjoyed it, lovely. My mum's favourite dessert, eaten mass. And I know not very skillful, but it's beautiful when it's done right. So a glass of Prosecco and it's just lovely. So that's what we've been doing. And whilst I was cooking, my sister-in-law, my brother came with my niece, a little bit annoyed that my nephew didn't come over, I have to admit. But bless him, they've just started back at school, so it's been a lot for them. And my little niece, um, my, my twin brother's daughter, my little niece, she's four. She's just had her first day at school. Uh, ye, um, when was that? Thursday. So yesterday. Oh, goodness me, the time's gone. So yesterday. And that was just incredible. And a little school pictures and her little un uniform and everything, honestly, melted my heart. I love her to pieces. I love all my nieces and nephews to pieces. I really do. And uh, and her mum came as well. So my brother's fiance. So we had a house full. My brother here, my, my twin brother earlier. So we've had everybody. It's been lovely, apart from my nephew. And uh, I've got another niece and nephew. I love them to pieces, but I don't see them. Um, but they're always in my thoughts. They're always in my prayers. And we love them to pieces. Pieces. But um, so busy household. There was hugs for mum, hugs, <laughs> as in, of course, my mum's a nanny. So it was lovely. And um, it was just lovely. Everybody chatting. And honestly, it just makes my heart just really, really warm and just pride. I love them all to pieces. And um, yeah, and just in honour and awe and just cherish of my mum. My mum is such a special lady, honestly. She is so just so naturally amazing. She doesn't even have to try and she's amazing. She can handle absolutely everything. And it literally is, if I'm upset, if I'm down, if I'm worried, if I'm stressed, if I'm unwell, she's there. My dad, she's there all the time. And it's just nothing phases her. She is so incredible, honestly. She is the most incredible lady. She runs this family just, and I say runs this family because that mum is always, of course, as we all know, the centre of the matriarch of the family. My dear nanny was a matriarch of her huge family. She had, goodness me, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. I think she was a great, great, great grandmother as well, over 55. So huge. So it certainly has passed on. And um, even though my nanny's not here, with, and being it's her daughter's birthday today, she's she's here with us always. She's here with me always. Um, I do truly feel that. But it's just been, it's certainly just has been lovely. And as I say, my mum is an amazing lady. She really, really is. And um, honestly, I could honestly just sit here and get upset thinking about um, just how incredible my mum is. So it's been really lovely to celebrate her today. We've not long just finished dinner, which was really, very nice. My mum had all her gifts and everything. I, I, very, it's very difficult to buy somebody who has everything, but um, as a lot of people will know, but um, I bought my mum a lovely gift. I think, hope, fingers crossed, is sometimes gets a little bit of competition in our family, I have to admit, but I bought my mum a selection of all different clothes. She's going on a holiday to Cyprus in a couple of days time. So I bought her a selection of clothes, which I knew she liked. Um, I got that and I actually got her some personal items and some makeup items and things which I knew she liked. The brand saved on my Amazon. So I've got that actually for knowledge as well. And I bought this lovely, um, lovely skincare and everything as well. So I bought her a lovely gift, done it all up in a box, uh, crepe paper and everything as well. I gave it to her this morning and a card. And that was lovely as well. Having coffee with my mum this morning, first thing this morning, around six o'clock and just starting work. And just, it was lovely. See my mum's face with all the banners and everything. It was incredible. And as I say, she is such an incredible fearless, wonderful, strong, incredible lady. She really, really is. And um, it's her birthday today. So I really do hope my subscribers and everybody on my channel will know that my parents mean the world to me, my mum, my dad, and my dear nanny, and my absolute world. I love them so much. And 
do you know what? It's um, it's just, <sighs> I'm just so lucky, so fortunate, and the Lord truly blessed me when it comes to parents, that he truly, truly did. And for that, I will be eternally grateful. And I, as I say, I love them to pieces. So on that note, please join me and wish my mum a very, very happy birthday. She is a wonderful, incredible, wonderful, wonderful, perfect lady. And she's my mum for all eternity, as my dear nanny and my father are mine for all eternity. So thank you so much. And please join me in wishing my mum, my amazing mum, a very, very happy birthday. God bless, mum. And if you're watching this, I love you to pieces. You're my absolute world. And I worship the ground you walk on. And until we have a little chat with probably in about five minutes when you watch this, I love you. God bless. And a very happy birthday, mum.